Good evening once again. This is Eric and I'm back with Kwaki. And we are here with a new activity. So the next activity that we have for you is wirelessly controlled robots. So I want to be able to control Kwaki wirelessly. In the previous activity, we were able to move Kwaki you know, forward, backwards, left, and right. Now we want to be able to move Quacky wirelessly by using the arrow keys on my keyboard. So we want to get right into it. First and foremost, we want to understand the logic, the logic we are going to use to control Quacky wirelessly using arrow keys. So first and foremost, we are going to look at this, that when the up arrow key is pressed, we want Quacky to move forward. When we press the down arrow key, we want Quacky to move backwards. When we press the right arrow key, we want Quacky to move to the right. And when we press the left arrow key, we want Quacky to move to the left. And when no key is being pressed, we want Quacky to stop moving. So that is our uh, logic, the logic that we are going to use to write our code. So now let's go ahead and write our code. Now, Quacky is already powered on and is connected to Pito blocks, and we are connected via Bluetooth. Right. Now, we want to ensure that Quacky moves only. Quacky moves forward only if the up arrow key is pressed. So we are going to use the if, the if block, the if block, so the condition. So we are going to go to the control palette and use the if. So the if block, we are using the if, then, else. If, then, else. So basically what we are saying is that if the up arrow key is pressed, then Quacky should move in the forward direction. Else, if the down arrow key is pressed, then Quacky should move in a downwards uh, direction. So that is how we are going to, to code the, the, the robot. So let's get ahead with our code. So to begin, as we said, we have our if then else. So our first code will be if the up arrow key is pressed, we are going to use the sensing palette. So we look for if so key press. So we are going to put this in here. So if the up arrow key is pressed, then what should happen? Then the robot, that is quacky, should go forward at 100% speed. So we go to robots. So it should go forward. So we want quacky to go forward. Else, so that is the first condition. So we want to bring in another if. We want to bring another if then else for the backward movement. Okay, so we go to the control palette, we bring if then else. So we have this. So again, we go to the sensing, then we see if the down arrow key is pressed, if the down arrow key is pressed, then we want Quacky to go backwards. So robots. So we want Quacky. To go backward. 100% speed. Then we introduce again the if then else for the left and right movements. 
So if then else, so again, the sensing. So if so, if the left arrow T is pressed, then Bucky should go. Left. Then we go again with the if then else to do the right direction. So we go again with the sensing block if the right key, right arrow key is pressed. Then our key should go to the right. Should go to the right. Let's use this. Should go to the right. Right. Now, once we have this code, after all of them has been run, we want to stop the robots. We want to stop the robots. So we go to stop robots. So we want to stop the robots. Right, so to complete our code, we must input our forever palette, forever palette, because we want it to be done continuously. We want all of this to be done continuously. So we bring our forever palette. So our forever palette is there. Then lastly, we want it to run at the event when the green flag is clicked. So we bring that right here. Then our code is ready to be controlled with the arrow keys. So Quacky will be controlled with the arrow keys of the keyboard. So are we ready to run the code? Right, so let's test it out and see. So I'll click on green flag and let's see what happens. So I'll click, click on the green, green flag. flag. So, so I'm pressing the up arrow. arrow. So, so Quacky, Quacky is moving, moving forward. forward. Quacky, Quacky is, is moving forward. forward. I'm pressing the down arrow. Quacky is moving back. I'm pressing the left arrow. Quacky is turning to the left, turning to the left. Right, I'm pressing the right arrow. Quacky is turning to the right. So that is that. So let me see. So my arrow keys are there and I'm going to go again. So I'm pressing the up arrow. So Quacky is moving forward. Quacky is moving forward. The down arrow key. Quacky moves backwards. The left arrow key. Quacky moves to the left and the right arrow key. 
Kwaki moves to the right. So we have been able to control Kwaki wirelessly. So that is our wireless robot. So that is the end of this activity. And I hope to see you in the next one. It's bye-bye for me and Kwaki. Bye-bye.